In the field of biology, emergent properties is the idea that biological systems form from varying levels of lesser complex components. The system then possesses characteristics that you wouldn't find in any of its components taken individually. Because of this, we see an emergence of new properties at each level of complexity. The same applies the further you go down the organization of any biological system. Let's take a look at how biologists study life by considering all different levels of organization. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that still retains the element's properties. Electrons, protons, and neutrons are its building blocks. Two or more atoms of the same or different elements join to form molecules. A cell is the smallest unit that can live and reproduce on its own, or as part of a multi-celled organism. A tissue, such as bone, consists of certain types and proportions of cells interacting in some task. An organ consists of two or more tissues interacting in some task. The eye is a sensory organ used in vision. Organs interact physically, chemically, or both in an organ system. Human skin is an integumentary system with tissue layers, organs, such as glands, and other parts. Cells of most multicelled organisms, including this Red Sea parrotfish, are organized as tissues, organs, and organ systems. A population is a group of single-celled or multicelled individuals of the same species according to a specified area. This is a fish population in the Red Sea. All populations of all species occupying a specified area are a community. This is part of a coral reef community in the Gulf of Aqaba at the northern end of the Red Sea. An ecosystem is a community that is interacting with its physical environment. It has inputs and outputs of energy and materials. Reef ecosystems flourish in warm, clear seawaters throughout the Middle East. The biosphere encompasses all regions of Earth's water, crust, and atmosphere that hold organisms. In the vast universe, Earth is a rare planet. Without its abundance of free-flowing water, there would be no life.